Bro, how mad are you at Tiny? Still mad, bro. This was like a whole week ago. Perfect. What's up, guys? Welcome back to On The Gas Show. We're back with another video, and this is SEMA week. We're not in SEMA yet, bro. What's going on? We're not in SEMA, but Alex, Wakala, and Saucy are already in SEMA. Alex and Wakala have been over there since Saturday. All week. They left Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Today is Wednesday, and then we will be flying tomorrow. Finally. We are only going for two, three days. I can't be in Vegas for too many days, bro. The same shit over and over. Yeah, we've been to Vegas plenty of times. We don't need to be there all week. But I bet you Wakala and Alex are having a good-ass time over there. They can wake up, drink, smoke, and just walk the strip every day, all day. But we're right here with the truck. I guess it ain't Tiny's truck no more, bro. We tried and tried to get Tiny to buy this truck. And he said he had to call home and ask a couple of questions. And it just didn't work out. Yeah, I'm a little bummed out about that. Just because it was an opportunity that he couldn't miss. And he did. He just decided not to buy anything. I don't think he just has the drive anymore. You know, no matter how much shit I talk. Because most of the shit talking that I do is just to push, you know, everybody. And that's what I do. And people don't understand that. People think that I'm just an asshole and I'm mean. But I'm mean because I like to push everybody to the limits you know what i'm saying when you push people like that people want to move forward and want to do more but tiny is a lost cause bro i don't know we're gonna end up keeping it and we're gonna give it away it's gonna be one of you guys we still got one giveaway right now going on which is a badass obs 350 sport that we got going on and we got the shirts they're in i'm gonna show you guys in just a few minutes but we got this one and then we got the 420 killer after this one remember this one ends november 13th the giveaway on this one is november 13th and then we'll start the 420 killer it's almost done and then to close the year off with a bang we're gonna close it off with this one i know a lot of you guys want a tiny to have a truck i want a tiny to have a truck i guess he didn't want it so we're gonna end up keeping it you know put it on the gas sauce on it right now we're on our way to my boy mando because the body kit on these super sports they don't always fit good if you don't know how to do super sports and no disrespect to anybody if you've done ss clones before these body panels require a lot of tweaking and a lot of people mess up on the corner caps which is this one right here this one's a little off the one on the other side is really off so we're gonna take it to my boy mando he actually already came to a shop and looked at it he said it was an easy fix we're gonna be taking this truck to mando's dropping it off fix that we're gonna put glass all the way around like i said tiny didn't want the truck so we're gonna end up keeping it we're gonna end up putting down the gas sauce change the wheels of course change the tires button it all up brand new windows all the way around just because that one's old, this one's old, the one in the front is old, and the one on the passenger side is old. Like I said, we're gonna end the year with the bang. Now, before we take this truck over there with Mondo, I'm gonna show you guys the shirts that just came in. If you guys been watching, of course, we got this 350 Sport Original, a 350 Sport Original from the dealer. It's a special edition. It's not a replica, it's not a clone, it's a real 350 Sport. This is one of my collections, you know it's red. I have about eight or nine red trucks, and this is one of mine, so you guys, Better be appreciative of me giving away one of my personal trucks. Remember, we had the stickers. This special already ended last week, right, Frank? Last Sunday, the 60 entries ended. Right now, it's going on with 30 entries. Yes, so we're going back to normal to 30 entries. If you haven't got your stickers, make sure to go online and get your stickers. Every sticker that you purchase from this Monday that just passed to now until the end of the giveaway is 30. No more 60, just 30. And we got a badass shirt, you know? And here it is. You know what I'm saying? We added a little bit of sauce. If you guys see these letters, these letters, it says on the gas with the Chevy sign. And if you come to the back, it matches that. If you come to the back back, it matches that too. We like to add a little bit of sauce. We added a little bit of sauce on the front, on the gas with the Chevy logo. Yeah, it's identical. It's identical, but with the on the gas. Remember guys, whoever takes this truck home has the option to change wheels. Originally, this truck had 18 by 11s, but next. Me personally, I like the 18 by 11s, the 17 by 11s. Got a couple trucks with 17 by 11s, but I wanted to change the look on this truck just because it's a sport. It has a lot of black trim, like the grill, this around the tire, this. I decided to put some 22s, some welds, 22 inches. And I think it looks pretty good. At the end of the day, the winner of this truck will be choosing from these 22s, welds, or the 18 by 11s. Since the sticker already has the welds, what do you like more, Frank? Personally, I like the world. The world? Yeah. It looks sick, bro. It looks sporty. So, on the shirt, we wanted to add something different. So, we added the 18 by 11s. As you can see, that actually looks pretty good too. It looks good, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we added the weld in the back. You can get you this shirt, and this shirt from now on is gonna give you 20 entries. So if you purchase this shirt, it's gonna give you 20 entries. Now, if you buy this sticker with the shirt, 
it's gonna give you 60. So you get 10 free entries for buying this combo together. I'm sure a lot of guys already purchased this sticker. So we got the red on the gas sticker. All right guys, so like I was saying, this shirt will give you 20 entries by itself. This sticker by itself right now will give you 30 entries. Last week, this sticker by itself will give you 60. If you were smart enough, you had purchased this sticker already. Now, if you haven't purchased a sticker, and if you haven't bought the shirt, you can buy this combo. We're gonna have two combos, the shirt and the sticker. This combo right here is gonna give you 60 entries. If you buy the shirt by itself, it's gonna give you 20. So if you buy it together, it gives you 10 free entries. If I were you, I'll buy the sticker and I'll buy the shirt and it'll get you 60 entries. If you were smart and bought this when this was on special, you have this combo right here for 60 entries as well. Or you can just buy you this decal by itself for 30. So 30, 20, 30. But if you buy this combo, you get 10 free entries at 60 entries. If you don't want this sticker, and if you want another truck sticker, if you buy this combo, it'll give you another 60 entries. It's simple. It's so easy, bro. Or is it complicated? I want to say people got fucking lost. <laughs> Did you understand it? He got a little lost. But it's simple. <laughs> it is it's simple. simple. It is simple. It's either combo A, the shirt, with this sticker is combo A. Yes. Or combo B is a shirt with this sticker. There you go. Simplified. If you don't want the shirt, you can buy the sticker by itself. If you don't want that shirt, you can buy a sticker by yourself. If you don't want these decals, you can buy that shirt by itself. So you have five different options. Yes. One, two, three, four, and then five, right? There you go. Five ways to win this badass truck. It ends November 13th. We lost the sticker. No. Have to deduct that from the count. <laughs> November 13 is the deadline for this giveaway. Remember, we're what, Frank? We're November, what, we're November already? We're on November 2nd, so we have 11 days. 11 days to get your entries. Now, I can't stress this enough. This is limited quantity, quantity, like Frank says. <laughs> this is limited quantity. We only made so many, and we're not gonna make no more. With the 2014, with the supercharger, we ran out, like the first fucking day. We decided to order just a hair more. We're dropping this Friday, this Friday, which is November 4th. November 4th. Wait on this shirt, it's gonna be badass. Like I said, if you wanna get you this combo for 60 entries, if you wanna get you this combo for 60 entries, you can take that too. You can win this badass truck or $25,000 in cash. If you don't care for the truck, if you don't like red, if you don't like OBSs, if you don't like chop, you can still purchase this motherfucker and you can take $25,000 home. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that, bro. I'm tired of looking at Tiny and Tiny's not even here. Every time I see this blue truck, bro, it reminds me of Tiny, bro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I'm still pissed off that he couldn't, he just didn't want to buy the truck. He just didn't pull the trigger to just get it. He should have just said, yes, I'll buy it and ask for forgiveness later. Yeah, I mean, it's not too bad. Besides yeah. that, I got a badass deal on this truck and I wanted Tiny to have a badass truck. I really did want Tiny to have this truck. Now, I see a lot of comments talking about you should just give it to him. It's not that simple. What do you want? What do you want? It's not that simple. What it's do you want? Yes, it's just paper, blah, 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 blah. This is an expensive ride compared to whatever we bought for Perrillo. We'll help Tiny build it just like we did with Little Larry. When Tiny bought Little Larry, we put a 6-0, we put a turbo kit, we put a transmission, fuel system. I mean, what else we did, bro? Fender flares, wheels, tires. Everything, we did everything. We spent like 20 racks on that truck and then he blew it up and then he parked it and he didn't want to know nothing of it no more. I understand Tiny that he don't want, you know, he don't want to put money or he don't want to waste money, but you got to put in a little effort. And if he was to put a little effort, that's whenever we jump and we'll help him out. But he was excited at first and then he made a call home and they just lo parquearon with him. <laughs> 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 I've been talking shit on the group message. He hasn't even replied. I don't know. Yeah. Is he okay? We haven't even we haven't even talked to him. I don't even know. Is he okay? Is he okay? We need to call him see if he's okay. It's not that serious. It's just a truck. We'll come across another truck maybe if we're getting lucky. Let's put the truck up and let's head to Mondo. Let's go. Perfect. Right now that we're on our way to Mondo, I forgot to mention to you guys that we have a little surprise for Perio. I want to send a special shout out to NX Gonzo. He does videos on YouTube, right, bro? Yeah, NX Gonzo, those who know him, he's been in the game for a while. He does a lot of no prep racing. He actually does an event over there in uh, Wichita of North Texas. He was looking at the video. We were talking about adding some nitrous to Perillo's truck. So he hit Frank up. We're actually surprising Perillo with the nitrous kit. And here it is in the back. Sorry, chop. I don't know what all he sent. I know that it's a pretty big box. So I'm sure it's like a bottle, some nice nozzles and a bracket. Once we get to Pasadena, we're gonna open it up and uh, hopefully we can spray like 100 to 150 bro. I don't want to do more because if we do more, he's going to blow it up. I think 150 is like the sweet spot. No, 150 is, is pushing it. Is pushing it. Now, so? now, you can put probably 175 or 200 shot, but that's when you spray it like conservative. 
Him knowing Perrillo, he's gonna wanna be spraying the shit out of me. Yeah. It's addicting, bro. I know because I've had it before. You know what I'm saying? I blew a couple of motors back in the day when I was young. I, it just feels so good. You know what I'm saying? When we put nitrous on the Red Bull in California, it felt so good just to hit the button, bro. Like, hit the gas and hit the button, and that motherfucker's going. Now, the Coyote can handle a little bit more nitrous than the 2000 model 6 so that Perrillo has compared to the 2019 Coyote motor that we got on the Red Bull. Where is that truck, bro? Ever since California's been at midnight, he took it to OTM, and he took it back with him. Yeah, I didn't even see the truck at OTM. That's how busy we were. Do we have a date for April? We do. HPT shootout's gonna be be April 1st. Yes. April Fool's Day. April Fool's Day. Now, before we get to April, we got Truck Nationals, which is a similar event to April and October Madness, but this is an all racing event. So for all you racers watching, this is the event to come to. No burnout pit, no car show, no cruising around, strictly racing. We had a super sick event already in January this year, right? And it was cold. It was cold. We had a lot of racers. It was like 150 or 200 trucks registered to race. I mean, it was a badass event. And now we got more race trucks that are kind of ready. Brownie should be there. Holly's going to be there. Crawford's going to be there. Crackhead. I'm fixing to go talk to Skinny Man and see if we get Moonshine. I know you guys been asking for Moonshine. Moonshine. We ended up going with a Proline motor bigger transmission, bigger pro charger. It changed the whole build atmosphere on that truck. We have to do a lot of changes and order a lot of the parts now. That's why it's been taking forever to get that truck running. It's almost there. We got the motor, we got the tranny, pro chargers in. They need to do some motor picks in the front. Got to build the zoomies. We still got to get a front bumper, a hood, and a bunch of stuff. So we're going to be talking to Skinny Man and see what's the update on Moonshot when you get that thing going. It would be nice to have it at Truck Nationals, bro. Brace it or just to have it there for show? To have it there just for to show it off and then maybe make a pass in April. That truck is going to be killer. Now, I see a lot of people talking about like, oh, well, Crawfish is fast and Crack It is fast and Moonshine. We have a truck for every caliber. Crack It and Moonshine are strictly for the track. Moonshine is gonna be the fastest truck that we got. That thing should be running 390s, bro. In the eighth, that's super fast. That's really, really fast. What are we trapping at 390? What, like 180, 190? Yeah, that now? should be like 190. I don't know you were gonna tell the times, but it might actually go a little faster or slower than that. We're not gonna say exactly. Yeah, I mean, 4.1s, 4.0s, 390s. I mean, that's already fast, fast. We don't have nothing that fast yet. After that, <laughs> crack it. Yeah. Another radio truck, same as Moonshine. And then we got Crawfish, it's slower than Crack It, of course. But you gotta understand that it's a 4x4. These 4x4s, you can make them fast, but they're heavy. No matter how much weight you cut, the 4x4s are still heavy. And then we got Brownie, Holly, and you know, we go from there. But our fastest truck should be Moonshine. And then after that, Crack It. And then after that, oh, we forgot Gangbang. Oh, we got yeah, Gangbang gang too. We got a lot of race trucks. It's so simple. And the Cyclone. And the Cyclone, goddamn. It's so simple. To have one race truck, and I can't stress this enough, it's so simple to have one race truck and put all the money on one race truck. It's so simple to have two race trucks. Well, it's not that simple, but it'll be simple, more simple for us to have two race trucks and have all our time and all our money on two race trucks. But we have five, six killers, bro. Moonshine, Crackhead, Crawfish, Cyclone, Gangbang. Those are all killers, bro. That's like a million dollars yeah. in race trucks, or maybe even more. Maybe uh, even more. Yeah, maybe. I, I think it's actually a little bit more because just the moonshine build is 250. I think. Yeah, it gets crazy now. Just imagine if I had one truck. You know how fast would that be? And how badass would it be? We like to have variety. We like to have radio prep. We like to have 4x4s for the street for the no prep action. We like to have the street trucks, which is Brownie and Holly. I don't know if the cycle is going to be a track or street or what it is, bro. It's going to be a no prep truck for sure. But that thing is going to fuck at the track and it's gonna fuck on the street, kind of like crawfish. And I think that one can actually do some badass roll racing too. Yes, we don't have a road truck. Now, we forgot about Red Bull. Red Bull's not that fast. Red Bull's actually the slowest one. The Red Bull and the GMC Turbo Sierra are the slowest ones compared to all the fast trucks. Like, y'all need to understand, when we say slow, it's a different meaning than slow for us. They are fast to the regular public, but compared to the race trucks that we have, they are kind of slow. I feel like I talked a lot already. I, I said too much information to you guys. I shouldn't be saying all this shit because now y'all know what's coming. What you think, Chop? I think y'all done said times. That's too much. No, nah, no. Nah, just we gotta give them a little, you know, a little preview. You know what I'm saying? So if Moonshine runs 390s in the eighth, Crackhead is running low fours in the eighth. So you can you can only imagine how fast Crackhead is going. Now, in OTM, we were having traction issues, but my boy Skinny Man. 
is getting all that fixed up and we're gonna be ready in truck national also should we have another 404 class bro you know i've been thinking about that it's nice to have it but it's so soon from otm so it's kind of like damn dog like it would be nice i mean we could let ask the people a lot of people were into that show yes actually the, four, the 404 was the main event at otm and it can be the main event again i don't know if a lot of people are gonna go and join the class because they already know how fast everybody is you know what i mean it's gonna be probably little less people or we could just grudge and wait for an hpt shootout and do another 4x4 class i don't know y'all guys comment down below we can have another 4x4 class a thousand dollar buy-in winner takes all we actually took seventeen thousand dollars that day for the race and then thirteen thousand dollars aside so it was a thirty thousand dollar race bro it was a badass it was a badass race that we know of too that was thirty thousand that went into our side of the you know yes. our winnings however there was a lot of side bets there it was probably man 40 50 thousand dollar that race. Was, that's crazy that's how crazy racing is getting and how much you know the pressure of going fast everybody wants to go fast we're going fast because we want to have a good time we want to put out a show for you guys but everybody else doesn't want to stay behind you know what i'm saying so they're putting money into their bills too and that what's making the competition is what making everything exciting the racing content is growing the truck racing content is growing and growing and growing by the time you know bro we're gonna be like takes 2k and the trucks if we keep pushing and if we keep going it's gonna be texas 2k trucks coming up here before they close the track. We're almost about to get to Mondo's. He's waiting on us. And then after that, we're gonna go to Pasadena. Pasadena's waiting on us as well. But yeah, I'm excited to see him tomorrow, bro. Oh, John's not going. I don't know why I look over here. What it is, what it ain't, what it will ho. Fuck if you show me no love, ho. One thing for sure, you all in water, pussy niggas ain't thinking than blood, ho. Even family that play me soft, no, it's nothing to square off and get in that mud, ho. I'm a motherfucking pussy, every bomb that I drop ain't never been no good, ho. Hit a tizzle, no matter how I feel, if I'm in the mix, ain't no toss up. Ain't no walls, bro, step in this ring, I'ma dance on your face like a salsa. Ricky shit, but my birth mission got me fucked up, you think I'm a falter. And I put that on my big mama, Lola, RP. Alright, guys, so we're right here with Port Mondo. If you guys remember well, this guy painted our first giveaway, which was a black 2006, remember? Yes, sir. Yes, we didn't put no body kits on that one. Now, my boy here, he's an expert with all these body kits. You actually build body kits and you sell them, right? Yes, sir. For yes, sir. four doors, single cabs. And also, we just got done making the mold for the Tahoes. Tahoes. I actually want to build me a Tahoe. I'm about to buy me a Tahoe, bring it over here, get the body kit. We just bought this truck. We bought it like this. We bought it painted. We bought it with the body kit. And like I said, not everybody, not to talk shit, no, no. but not everybody can put these body kits on. Everybody can put them on. It's kind of hard to align them because they're so bulky and so square from the bottom. I brought over here with my boy, the professional. Now, you said that they might not have brackets, right? Tape they it might break. have them, but they're probably poorly placed. So I was checking them out. What's the difference between the double-sided tape and the brackets? People need the brackets because it's actually sturdier and they won't move and they won't, you know, come off. Well, that's your bracket are mainly used for vibration they only go on the bottom so that will keep it more in a line in a line vibration but on top it's on oem parts it's only a uh, double-sided tape double-sided tape but on fiberglass it's a uh, specialized glue oh, they use okay, okay, okay. break it bond to metal yeah 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 you need both of them to work better on some occasions not all the time um, especially on first paint it will be best to do double-sided tape double-sided tape yeah because these glues the one out bond with plastic to oh, metal okay okay uh, regardless if it's actually made for plastic mm -hmm. or actually they're made for repair so but not for actually bondage like for only in parts to the metal that sounds complicated i don't know the good thing is that i brought over here and you're gonna fix it also we talked about new windows yes sir i okay. just talked to my good guys from text auto pro okay they already scheduled early early in the morning to get replaced all six windows okay yes because this window in the back looks purple can't have that now are they gonna be tinted or clear they're gonna be tinted tinted it don't matter not, because not of course not your dog yeah, yeah not the on the gas tin but no matter what if it's clear or tinted we're still gonna black it out you know we're still gonna take it to my boy manny and get everything murdered out front windshield sides in the back so this cap corner is messed up a little bit if you guys can see it from from right here you can see it sticking out so it's not properly placed my boy mano he's gonna fix it the right way the one on the other side is even worse you see i mean you can, it's so high bro it sticks out it so sticks much it sticks out so much but it's loose look at that you know what I'm saying? It's all, it's just my boy Mondo is going to do it the right way. That's what we brought it over here. I do want to put gray wheels on this truck, kind of like the ones on the gaps. Now, this truck is going to be a giveaway. It's going to be the end of the year giveaway. We're going to end the year with the bang, and this is going to be a badass giveaway. What are you guys going to be taking this truck home? Should we leave the chrome wheels or power coat them? great comment down below let us know me i'm not a fan of these chrome i mean i like some chrome wheels but not on the ss if you guys like this we'll keep it like this if not 
We're doing great. No tiene rin, no tienes unos rines grises aquí. Yeah, I do. But that's the twenty two classes. Ooh. Esos my my boy selling them too. They're brand new. Oh. Well, see, comment down below because if he's selling them and if you mm -hmm. want the gray ones, we'll buy the gray ones. Brand new. There you go. Look at all these parts here. Look at all these SS parts here. All the look at the cab corners, custom made. Whenever you buy an extended cab or whenever, because these come from off from an extended cab, these got to be modified. And my boy Mondo does all the modifications. So he has two right here. You got the Intimidator wing. You got more plastics over there. You got the back bumper, the front bumper. He's actually doing a complete SS truck. What is it? A customer? Yeah. Requested a custom white for it, so. This is gonna be our dilemma right here. Now, we're gonna go with the gray ones, or we're gonna stay with the chrome ones. What you think, Chop? I think the silver. The gray silver. ones look a lot better. Silver? Silver? Frank? Gray, yeah. Gray? Silver, yeah. Well, of course, gray all day, but it's not gonna be ours. It's not gonna be yours, or yours. <laughs> <laughs> Never know. <laughs> Chop cannot win. Yeah, Chop can't win. Yeah. Oh. I, already told, I already told my friends, none of y'all can win the giveaways. Like, y'all just can't. So don't even participate. And if they do participate and they win, I'll give you a little money, but I have to redraw again. My boys can't win our giveaways. That's just not right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just the rear bumper. See, adjust the rear bumper. Adjust the fender so it doesn't have proper gap in the bottom. Okay, yeah, adjust and all that. That's what I was explaining to you. With vibration and the weight of the door, they just say one day you open it, they can actually pinch right here. That's oh. the most common thing that happens in any SSs. All we here too. The bumper? Yeah, the rear bumper. The rear bumper in the back. It's not set up right. See, these trucks is a bunch of plastics. You know what I'm saying? And if you don't do it right, it doesn't look straight. It doesn't look proportional. And that was something that I actually uh, referred to you. Uh -huh. That I actually got my connection through you know, GM. I get all these parts brand new. Oh, okay. There you go. We're going to get this one, right? Yeah, that's right okay. there. So let's fix the back bumper. Let's fix this part right here. You think this truck needs a nice buff? Yeah. Buff it. They take off all the white stuff that it has from my compound. See what I did this? Like just clean all the door jams, cause yeah. you see, cause you see, like Just the hood, maybe the bumper in the front. I don't know. If we oh, need we, to gotta, get... we gotta take the whole front end off. Oh, okay. Well, I gotta just start from scratch and get your proper caps first, and then start reinstalling the kit. So that's the only way. That's what I like to hear. You know, we're gonna get it done the right way. I like to hear problems, but I like to hear the solutions after the, the problem. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Not just like, oh, well, I don't know. It's gonna be a lot of trouble. We're gonna be dropping this thing off here. Pa cuando esta pa mañana? We're gonna see him tomorrow. You can have it all the way up to next week. Mid next week, we can pick it up. And then by that, maybe the fans already chose the wheels. If we're gonna go with gray or chrome, we need to decide now. I do wanna put the gray ones, but if y'all like the chrome ones, we'll keep the chrome ones. I do need to change the tire. If we keep these chrome ones, we need to change the tire because it's stretched out and it's too big. It's a 35. So we'll go with a 30 or we'll go with a 25, which is like the ones I have on gaps. But right now we're gonna go to Pasadena, so let's roll. Let's talk about it. You got a full ball, you wear these shorts, bro. Yeah, we're going swimming or something. <laughs> and then we're going to the beach or what? Because it don't seem like no fucking weather for the beach. I got a beach at the house. Merry Christmas. Yes. So, Perrino actually doesn't know about this, right? As of right now, he doesn't. He's probably gonna see this and then he's gonna know. So, congratulations. Surprise. Surprise. What's up? What's, What's up, up Asian? What's up? This guy took a whole month off after OTM. The first, the first time we've seen him. him. Yeah. Yeah, I had my first day back too. <laughs> yeah, first three day weeks, actually no, back. Three weeks. Wow. Three weeks. You first need three weeks? You needed that much time off? Or are you sick? No, oh, well, I got sick. Okay. I was sick for a week, and then I kind of just, so you need some recovery time. So I, I got you, I got you. We work too much, bro. You don't no. ever give us a break, so. But there's no breaks in life, bro. When you die, you can rest all you want. You I you almost want. died. When? The week after. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, big shout out to my boy, NX Gonzo. He actually, does he work in NHS Express or no? He's real affiliated. I don't know if he's still, I don't know if he works there. We think so. We're going to say yes. We're going to say yes. Well, he's sponsoring, actually, this is funny, bro. I waste all the money. Perrillo and Tiny get all the discounts and all the free stuff. How does that work? I don't know, but yeah. That's how it works, right? It seems that way. We don't get free shit. But we don't get do. free nothing. <laughs> we got a, a nitrous kit here for Perrillo. Big shout out to Nitrous Express and NX Gonzo. I don't know what it is. I don't know what they all sent. So if you want to open it up and see what all comes in it. I just know what a bottle looks like and the solenoids. But do they send like pills and stuff like that? Yeah. Be yeah. careful, it looks like it. Pills, you can run different size jetting. I think Perrillo won like a 200 shot, right? No, no. Hell no. no. They sent a 10 pound oh. bottle. Wow, look at this. Look That's at all nice. this nice stuff. I didn't have none of this shit back in the day, bro. Look at this. This is a nice nozzle. Oh, yeah. Oh, send the hose. All right. Why can't I Yeah. So explain to us. It's in a plate kit. 
It seems to be like a 92 millimeter throttle body plate kit. The one that goes behind the throttle body. Four bolt license plate cover. It has a big solenoid, so that means you can spray up to like 300. So pretty much a quicker breakdown. You probably look on this side. There's there's two solenoids. There's one for one for fuel and one for nitrous. And then there are also the jets. You show them the different jets. And what it is is you have on side of the plate. It'll tell you one for fuel and one for nitrous. Okay. And then you pretty much you pressurize it, and then determining on the jets, it's more the fuel ratio. You could play with it a little bit, but they have like a chart that'll give you the basic breakdown. And then on the inside right here, you could barely see it. Probably cut it open. Like, like cut it open. And, and it actually shows where it'll spray. So is this gonna be a wet or a dry shot? It'll be wet. Wet. Yeah, yeah. No. Now wet, which one's more safe? Because I know there's uh, a the wet well, because it has gas, right? Yeah, wet. So explain to everybody here what's the difference between uh, wet and dry. A wet kit. Because I bet you I didn't know that. I'm surprised well, you. Yeah, I, no, no, bro, yeah. I've been I've been racing. I used to be broad back in the day all the time. <laughs> so so uh, <laughs> Uh, it was a long time ago, yeah, right? Time ago, yeah. <laughs> a wet kit meaning is where it sprays fuel and, and the nitrous uh, at one time. And then a dry kit, you only spray the nitrous and then you use the injectors yes. to fuel. compensate yes. the fuel. Yeah, but you get it's the more safe with a little bit of gas. It well, depends. One thing with another. Yeah, for, like for on, this. Like on carburetor engines, they use the wet kit. Um, Like Holly, FuelTech, I mean, all that other stuff, they use dry kit because they uh -huh. use the injectors. In case but, it goes lean or fat, but, the injector but opens for and closes. A stock motor, yeah, I was say. The yeah. yeah, HP Somebody tuner is wet kit. 10 years ago and I've never forgot. That's that's good. They were not they were not lying to you. No, okay. Yeah, it's, it's easier. You know, it's Flacco, easier. Flacco told me. For the control of it, you know, this deal is you're able to regulate it. You control it. Uh -huh. You want to get super technical, like I like to get, well, then you want to control it individually. But yes. for this deal, what Perillo's doing is a little... Oh, we're gonna say I don't know what, how much we're spraying yet. Well, I'll say 150. I think and this one has for two kits, bro. 150 or 125. Oh, it does for two kits. Oh, he's gonna blow that motherfucker up. <laughs> 150. I suggest 150 or 125 or, or even a hundred shot. I think 150 be good because that's what I put on all of them. You, the guy, the people that come the in. The thing here. is that this guy is not gonna know how to handle himself. That's there's the not gonna there. be any control. No, but I, we're put, we're also putting a. A timing retard box, so I'll take some more timing out. That way it's safe. Oh, and if we go racing, I'll just put the timing in it if we get to race. Oh, gotcha. And when he's riding around, I'm gonna take all the timing just out. Just don't show him how to do nah, that. No, I'm not gonna show him. Okay. He, he never <laughs> This guy that. also got sponsored by Texas Speed. Yes. A can kick. What the hell? That's what I'm saying, bro. Ah. After I spent hundreds That's of thousands of dollars, <laughs> this guy just got a nice kit for free and a, and a cam. Hey, bro, my boy needs it, bro. My boy needs it. You know what it is? A converter too? No, I was gonna buy it for him, but slowly. It worked you know, out better because this way you don't have to buy it. Yeah. So at the end of the day, it's still yours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's all good. It's still for you. It's all good. It's all good because I had a truck for Tiny that he didn't want to buy. Oh. And now if Perrillo's taking all the advantage, yeah. he's getting everything for free. But at the end of the day, bro, the way I see it is, is bro, we couldn't have nobody that slow on our team, bro. No, yeah, yeah no. We, we can, bro. Thirteens, bro. Yeah. Thirteens. It's, it's not on, bad. Bro. It's not bad. No, well, it's not. It's, it's not, not bad but to for roll his, around. Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's yeah. not bad for his first truck for a six zero. <laughs> exactly. All motor, no that. cam, no, 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 yes. nothing. That side of it was awesome. Did you but see the you... water coming out when he was doing a burnout? Whenever it overheated, bro, it was all rusted, bro. Did you see the oil on his truck? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I saw that. It was bad, bro. Yeah. It was bad. Thirteen, what? Six. I think he ran a 13.4, didn't he? 13.4, 13. 4, 13. 13. 13. 4. 13. 4. Yeah. That's not yeah. bad. So let's just say with a nitrous kit, we'll probably drop a second. Yeah. It should go, I mean, everything goes planned. It should go low 11s, high 10s. Whoa, 10s? With, with, the, with the cam. Yeah. With oh, okay, with everything, burger. with everything. Yeah, the cam's yeah. already in it. Oh, the cam's already in it. Oh, yeah. shit. So they got a surprise. <laughs> yeah. And I was surprised. And we had another we surprise. We didn't know you knew about the cam. I don't, yeah, no, no. Well, everything's done. He oh. told me that Perio had a, a cam sponsor, but I know it was already in. Yeah, it's already in. Wow. It's I just waiting on this. So it's choppy as fuck right now. A little bit. It's not tuned, but oh, uh, okay. we'll go turn it on. Yeah, let's go check it out. Perio. Yeah. Bro, does he even deserve all of this? <laughs> you don't do nothing. <laughs> Oh, this guy even got the fast intake. Oh, yeah, he got the brownie intake. Wow, yeah. wow, look at got all these the headers. Stuff. Got the original head. I forgot which headers. I think those are actually brownies headers. Yes. If I'm not mistaken, right? I know brownies headers, intake that came off of crawfish and brownie. The cam kit is a brand new cam kit from Texas Speed. So we, we did put that. It's, it's a big cam, too. It's, it's a good size. It's a, it's oh, a yeah. good cam, yeah. Okay. And they're getting the converter also. I think I did the exhaust already on there. We're, yes. we're doing the fuel system. We're doing the fuel system on there as well. Okay. To be able to spray wet, you need a little more fuel pump. So we just put the pump in there. Yeah. Jeez. So it's going to be, let me try to get it turned on. Let me put the key forward. We got to give it a roll. Let's give it a little bit of gas. Go. It's going to be loud, huh? It's loud. Turn on. Oh, me. Uh, I'll turn on right. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, you're good, bro. You're 
hope it was a surprise, y'all. The hope it was a surprise <laughs> oh, to both of y'all. definitely surprised. surprised. Perrio, Perrio, Perrio hasn't really hurt it yet. At all. At all. He hasn't hurt it yet. So I, I think between the headers, because the headers, you barely put them on, right, too? No, yeah, he, yeah they did the headers. Yes. The cam and the converter can make a big difference. Okay. I put bigger injectors, too. Like yes. new body thaw injectors, okay. I put some on there for the nitrate. Yeah, I don't know if I should tell you this, they but. The rear end holds, they should go. Oh, it needs a rear end, huh? Well, he says it's 456s, but they're humming real bad. Something's humming. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. what yeah. is I it? The, is I haven't it checked it. I haven't checked if it. If something's humming in the back, what could it be? The gears. Um, it's the gears that hum. That or the pinion, or the, the bolt on the pinion might be we getting loose. Traction bars also. Cut tracks. Oh, he got that sponsor too. I'm telling you, man. It do. So he pretty much has the brownie. 1.0 setup. What I was gonna oh, do yes, at first. Yes. Literally the whole 6.0 no, can down. Yeah, it is, that's it is, the whole it is, thing. It what it was is Roy didn't like you calling another one a 420 killer. So Roy's yeah, like murder the 420 yeah, killer. That's, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Just so you know, bro, this is what happens when. How much power you think it'll make? At the whole combination, everything's the same as what Piñata was. The same cam, same everything. Whatever Piñata runs. 10 twenties. Oh, but we're spraying. So. We're, we're spraying more. Like 300. It's gonna be like 150, 200. It's gonna be a good race then. It's gonna be a good race. It should make, I don't know, 450, 500 maybe. Well, 420 make killer makes 512, 513. Yeah, no, there. We got we got pills, bro. So yeah. if they don't make enough, we're gonna turn it up. <laughs> it's, it's gonna be a good race. It's gonna be a good race. Yeah, it'll be good. I, I don't know why Miss Tires is drag pack. We're gonna have to figure that kind of part of it out, the drag yeah, pack and stuff. Like a lot. Those tires? Yeah, it was cool. Yeah, and I, I feel bad because he bought those tires. Yeah, yeah. It was cool when he was on motor. No, but we put some drag radios. Like ET Street R's or yeah, something. Yeah, like from Holly or whatever. Yeah. Should be good. Yeah, yeah. Should be good. Well, I don't know if I want to let him borrow to beat me. <laughs> I don't know if I want to do that. You know? We already gave him a nitrous kit now. I didn't know he had, he had a cam in already in the Holly and thing. The, the Holly and thing. Yeah, yeah. But it sounds really good. It sounds choppy. It sounds aggressive. And uh, he's gonna be excited when he comes back. I don't think he know. He don't know nothing, right? No, uh, I think he does know. He knows about the camp because he's the one that made the call. Oh, okay. He's the one that did everything, bro. That's yeah. sneaky. And actually, right now, I called him. I, I, I texted him. I told him call me. And he called me. He's like, hey, does Beto and Frank know about the camp? He's like, no, they don't know. So he's like, all right, well, they're about to find out. <laughs> <coughs> We're gonna have to put a nitrous on the 420. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Well, I just raised him with Holly. He's the one that did everything, bro. I just raised him with Holly. Okay. <laughs> bro, we can oh, put a know. pulley on your truck. Can they make yeah. pulleys? Don't they make a pulley for the LSA? I think that's it's safe. It's safe. Oh, enough. yeah. Yeah. I mean, this will be. I, I think 150, dude, he'll have fun with it. Yeah. He'll have a lot of fun with it. We call everybody out now with this. But this I do think we should start off slow. I mean, what kind of 13s? 12 is not much of a jump. Yeah. Maybe try to go like some high 11s. Yeah. I think I'll go 11s. Like 1170, 1160. I think I'll go high 11s. I think, I think with everybody that wants to race him, and he wants to race, 11s are perfect for him, bro. Uh, go have all the fun he wants, and then later on, whenever. We, we, we can control everything through the timing. We can gut, gut all this stuff, right? Like take, take yeah. this off, like just make it later. Yeah. Uh, the catch can? He wanted to buy the catch can. He said later. Oh, another fucking nice race truck, truck, bro. He changed his steering wheel. I thought he has a nice little racing steering wheel. Oh, it does he? Same one. Oh! He, he bought it like that. I thought he had it like it was all falling apart. It wasn't those falling apart. Oh, no, that's a, it's the same, it's the same one, one, I think. One? I don't know why. It, oh, yeah, it's the same one. It's the oh, same I thought one. it was one that was, that was falling apart. Yeah, was that's this what one the truck came with. Oh, okay. It'll be nice, man. Did y'all paint the frame on this one or was it ever painted? Oh. oh. The setup did. Yeah, I think they yeah. did whenever they did the casino. It looks so clean back here. Yeah, it we, the bed we put a few more balls on 450. That's what it was. Yeah. We need to put the other bed. Yes, yeah, that's oh, where they took it off. Okay, okay, okay. That and the bumper. And yeah. I got the contracts. We just gotta adjust them. This is fun. <laughs> this is more fun than crawfish and then everything else. <laughs> chill, chill, bro. It is. Chill. It is. Chill. Daddy, chill. <laughs> chill. Somebody did a burnout. Fucking up my shit. Oh, no. You can see the tire marks. Look. Oh, no. I'm so pissed off at Tiny. It's not even pissed off. I'm more, what do you call it, Frank? Disappointed? Disappointed, upset, aguitado, you know? It's just I'm bummed out. I thought Tiny was, you know, I thought he was going to have my back. No, nah, come on, bro. And yeah, when I die, I want Tiny to let me down one more time. When I die. <laughs> and because of that, because I'm pissed off and I'm, I'm bothered, we've got a motor for Lil Larry. And no, we're not going to give it to Tiny. We're putting another burnout truck. This is a 6.0, and this is going on Lil Larry. Like more like an 03. 03? Yeah, because it has returns. OK. <laughs> it has three bolts. And it has a clutch fan. Oh, yeah, it is a clutch fan. 2003, 6.0. <laughs> this motor is going on Lil Larry. We are putting a cam. Yes. Springs. That truck, it did have a 5.3 with a turbo, and we did have a 4L80 transmission. But with a 6.0 and a motor, the 4L80 is too big. Yeah, so, for a burnout truck, yes. For the burnout truck. So we're going to have to go with a 60, 65, maybe. A nice converter. We need to make this thing bulletproof. 
Motherfucker, we'll make the cut. Look at bulletproof. It yeah. better be bulletproof. Uh, hey, bro, that fucking foot right there, dog. That fucking foot is it's heavy. heavy. It's heavy. That's a heavy fucking foot, bro. But we learned a lot through Takashi. We have so we should be. Yeah. We got a four point eight on Takashi. It's not that big, but the turbo makes up for it. Now this one is not gonna have anything. It's just gonna be the motor. NA cam. NA cam. Yeah, kind of like Perrillo's deal. No nitrous. Maybe we could put a little. Nitrous, purge, or whatever. Maybe we can race Perrillo once it's all said and done. And we can yeah. actually give you the race you guys been wanting. Perrillo. Yeah, Tiny versus Perrillo, but Tiny's not racing. You got that badass intake inside still. No, we're not using that intake. Oh. We're, using the green, we're using the green intake. Oh, yes. the green one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a fogger and everything. That's what I was saying. Yeah, yeah no, 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 no. It's good. Yeah, that one's going to catch on fire when we're going to mess it up. Nice. It's a burnout truck, bro. Burnout trucks get on fire. When I come back from SEMA, which is probably next week, I want this bitch running, doing burnouts and everything. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> you want to paint it too? You want to? No, 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 no. Just a motor. Okay, okay. okay. Well, okay. We need a trance. We are taking this shit off. Careful, bro. Watch. Watch the Holly kit. Bro, how mad are you at Tiny? Still mad, bro. This was like a whole week ago. And. Once we come back from SEMA, we are going to the track and we're finally going to be testing out the brownie truck. The weather's feeling a little bit better. It's cooler now. We should probably see good numbers with this one, right? Yeah. We should. Yeah, we should go like a 950. No. <laughs> 950. Yeah. Maybe what, like a 5... 550 is the goal. 550. Yeah, 550 is the goal. I mean, 550 is the goal. It, it should be doable. It, it probably go faster. But 550 is the ultimate goal. That's where Holly runs. Oh, we gotta be Holly, that's right. We're gonna 549. How fast is Holly? You said 30s, I don't remember. You, Yeah, we said we went 30s. You went 30s. Oh, I don't remember either, man. You got too many trouble. Bro, it's too fucking long. And I don't want to bring it over here because you're gonna scratch it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's a real Holly killer over there too, though. Which one? That white one right there be white hey, on white. Hey, bro, line them all up, bro. Yeah. Line them up. This one uh, just don't bring out all the truck. No, no, Ali. just Holly. Holly. Like, Rio, he got a camera, you're gonna bring out Holly. Yeah, that's fucked up, bro. <laughs> hey, if I, if I feel like y'all ganging up on me, I'm gonna have to go get crawfish or something. <laughs> get out of here. So, everything else here works. We've been taking some parts. Oh, I can sleep. tell. There's no, it was for some... your truck. This is oh, all for your truck. Okay. We've been using it on your other trucks. Okay. Remember we had problems with Takashi before you went to yeah, yeah. Everything you went somewhere. What happened but... to the brake cylinder? <laughs> yeah. Come on, I'm missing the whole Steve fuse box. Bro. Brakes. Roy wants to call that in front of camera, bro, for the whole world to see. Come on, Roy. Here, bro. This was the junk truck. Yeah. Clean it up. Yeah. Yeah. Quitar yeah. todo esto. Esto. Porque esto se quema de volada, güey. Yeah. Yeah, take all that shit off. We just, just worry about the motor in there. Make sure it's, it turns on. We can do some zoomies. Voila, I was thinking something different. Just try something different. Make it look like a motor. You're raising this tree with zoomies. <laughs> we can do some zoomies to see what the, what the, we can actually put a muffler and que salga la salida. Yeah, something. We'll think about it. When you go to SEMA, bro, I know you're going to be over there. You have, you're good at thinking about We'll get about inspired it. over there. Yes. We'll see a bunch yeah, of bad, you're bad, see bad, a shit. bad ass shit. Over there. Make sure you have something ready because when I come back and if nothing's here, we're going to have some crazy ideas. So it's better to have something simple no, done. No, 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 I like the crazy ideas. Bro, don't tell that motherfucker you got crazy ideas, bro. You know the way he gets. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so little Larry's getting a motor. Brownie, we're going to test it next week. Once we come back from SEMA, Perrillo is getting a nitrous kit. I'm actually like, excited for Perrillo. And we can taste a taste. And we can test Perrillo's truck at HMP too. We can test Perrillo at HMP as well. And the race that you all guys been wanting to see, Little Larry, Tiny's old truck versus the 420. And we still got a race pending with 420 Killer versus this one, which is that's the next giveaway. We don't want to break that bitch, bro. What yeah. happens if we break it? Well, we gotta fix it. What you mean? <laughs> you don't want to put nitrous on it, bro. Why are you telling us? Like, if he's the one that doesn't break them every time. All right, guys. Well, that's pretty much it for today. And make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. We got all that fire content. SEMA is tomorrow. Also, the shirts are dropping this Friday coming up. Remember, limited quantity on the shirts. The truck sticker with the shirt, 60 entries. The shirt with the red sticker reflective, the red reflective, that's another 60 entries. Or you can purchase the truck sticker and the red reflective sticker. If you want to buy just one sticker, buy your sticker. If you want to buy the shirt by itself, you can buy the shirt by itself. Get your entries before it's too late. The deadline for that giveaway is November 13th. You do not want to miss out. And like I said, stay tuned because tomorrow we're headed to see Let's roll. Hey.